Are you interested in growing out your flock with a new egg laying chicken? Today we're going to talk about a very high producing egg laying chicken that it actually has grown to be one of the most well known commercialized chickens, unfortunately, but is going to be a great addition to your farm or homestead. I'm Danielle of the Split Arrow Farm and welcome to our channel where we bring you new content every Wednesday and Sunday on the changes and updates that we're making to our homestead as well as all of the knowledge that we've gained while learning how to create this small farm. Here's a picture of what a leghorn most classically looks like. You're gonna see that their common appearance is white, but it, they do come in so many other colors from red, black-tailed red, light brown, buff, and silver. And you'll also find that they either will have a single comb or they will have a rose comb. We're gonna talk a little bit about how they got the rose comb when we talk about the history of the leghorn. So stay tuned for that. But this was bred into the leghorn bird. And then you will see that they have a red wattle. They have yellow four toed feet and a yellow beak. They are gonna be a relatively small bird, so they're not gonna be your dual purpose, maybe a golden comet type bird, which we talked about the other week, and I'll share a video of what that looks like up here. Let's talk about the history of the leghorn chicken. So there isn't too much knowledge on the exact location of where the leghorn started, but we know that it did start in the Tuscany region of Italy, and it was first known as Italians for their name. Although coming from the region of Liverno, they did shortly change the name to Liverno, where the port was that they were bringing these birds out. And they then later changed it to the Leghorn, which is the angelicization of Livorno. It first arrived in the United States in Worcester, Massachusetts around 1828 from that Tuscany region of Italy. Here is when the comb was bred in to be a rose comb and this was really because of the harsher weathers that the northern states had so they did breed this into the bird. Around the 1870s the English actually started to receive the leghorn birds for the first time and they did start to crossbreed this bird to make it into a much larger size so that they could start to breed it into larger dual purpose birds. You'll see that there are basically two rivalries today. There are people that are still breeding the leghorn as a larger dual purpose bird and then there are ones that are going to have your more regular leaner type of leghorn that's going to be mostly used for egg production. Today Today we have a leaner leghorn on our farm and she is primarily used for egg laying production. And with that said, what is the production of a leghorn? A leghorn is going to produce a large amount of eggs. They're probably one of the best egg layers that they are. And that's because they're producing around 280 to 320 eggs per year. It's going to be four to five eggs per week, which is a really large amount. And they're going to produce those eggs into four or five years, which is crazy long lifespan to be producing that large amount of eggs. I know we talked about the Plymouth Rock and I'll share a video link of that up here, but they're only really producing into two, maybe three years and the production is going down significantly. Whereas the leghorn, as it produces, its eggs are actually going to get larger in size. So you're going to find that they start off as a pretty large egg and will even grow into an extra large size, which is wild and going to be so amazing for you guys to have in your breakfast or at your homestead. Personality can play a large role into deciding whether to add an animal to your flock. And the personality of a leghorn is a bit different from some of the other chickens that we've talked to. The Plymouth Rock and Golden Comet are actually considered kind of lap chickens. So they're really friendly, super personal. And the leghorn is not as much. They're actually a really active, intelligent bird. You're gonna see that when you do let them outside, they could almost scavenger for all of their meals and they have a great flight capability. So you can find them in the tops of trees. We found them on the top of our barn 
before and they really just like to get active. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that when you do bring them into your flock that you do allow them to have enough room that they can really use that active lifestyle. And another thing to note is similar to some of the other birds that we've talked about on this channel, they're not super broody. So if you do want to hatch out their eggs, you are gonna need an incubator because they're not too known to actually be broody. And we found this with a lot of other birds that are super common for homesteaders and farms. And that's because it's really bred out of them from a young age. This is one of my golden comets, which they are a very friendly bird, but we hope that you guys enjoyed this video today and learned a lot about the leghorn. Let us know down below if you're going to be adding one to your farm and we'll see you guys again next week. Bye.